welcome to the World Karate Federation's The Decade's Best, Chapter 7. And revisiting once again the 2010 World Championships in Belgrade and Serbia. Our programme today features the female kata bronze medal bout between Serbia and Italy. And to help bring that action back to life, we are blessed with two world champions. Current world champion, Sandra Sanchez from Spain. And former... Hello twice world champion, Antonio Diaz from Venezuela. Welcome to Hello. you both. Well, we're Thank gonna go me. straight into the Hello. action here with the kata, and we're gonna be welcoming you on to the tatami. First of all, Team Serbia, uh, and then Italy will be going second. Now, both of you world champions, you're absolutely phenomenal people because, Sandra, you currently hold the quadruple crown your current world champion, your current continental champion. You are the grand winner from the 2019 Premier League. You are also the first person in holding that top spot for the WKF ranking. The only other athlete to have a quadruple is uh, Stephen de Costa from France. But also Antonio Diaz, my goodness, what a superstar you are. You have a Guinness World Record for holding the most world medals eight in total you have two gold a silver and five bronze spanning from 2002 through to 2016 14 years unbelievable so we have some amazing skill and talent from both of you to watch these two teams performing in their kata and i'd like to uh, start off by letting everybody know that this particular video on the YouTube channel, the World Karate Federation YouTube channel, has had in excess of 16 million views. The highest number of views for any WKF video. So, what do you think there is about this particular kata, this particular video, that has made it so special? And that's an open question to both of you, please. <laughs> for me? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> because it's really <laughs> crazy, 16 million. <laughs> uh, maybe it's a mix of uh, many factors. Uh, a world championship is always very in interesting. Um, this one was held in Serbia, and I think that fighting for medal match was uh, very important for the country. Also, then, the videos were seen only on YouTube, uh, but now the visit uh, are distributed uh, among uh, many social networks. Ah, but that's a very good point. It's not only this. <laughs> Maybe <Yes. it's laughs> Do you share that view, Antonio? Do you share yes, that view? Yes, yes, I think it's... Um, I, I agree with Sandra. Yeah, because the, the now you have the Premier Leagues are and on also, TV stations all around the world. That's that's right, and also um, this was the first World Championship, you know, with the um, doing the medal matches on a different day with the old TV production, more professional and everything. So I think this this also is um, why maybe these videos from from this World Championship had so many views. Well, the first part of the cat has been performed by Serbia, uh, and it was a good, comp it was a good uh, performance, no doubt. There was a little bit of a synchronization issue uh, right toward the end of the kata, but I'm sure that will be picked up by both of you as we go into the bunkai. Now, you are both world champions, current world champion, former world champion. Um, and how, how would you tell me what, 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 would make, what makes a world champion? What makes you so special? How does it work? <laughs> what is the secret? <laughs> I don't know. What is your secret? <laughs> I think, I think the secret. Ah. I think you know the secret. I think you know the secret, Sandra. And I think the secret is is work, work and uh, consistency. You know, um, uh, uh, there's no easy way. And and I know Sandra knows that very well. Also, you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm uh, sure. When you want something with your heart, uh, 
you you never are tired and you always want training more and more and more. Sometimes it's, it's very hard. Uh, some days you can move <laughs> anything, <laughs> but but inside you want training because uh, you, you you feel that that you want to, to do something in, in in your heart and in your mind. Well, you obviously. Yeah, both I, th of you I think are, passion. Are, passion is very important. <laughs> exactly, and, and you're fully aware that it's not just the athlete either. It's because you have to have a special relationship with your coach, uh, and that they have to be able to know you and understand you so well. And in in your case, Sandra, I know that uh, your coach is incredibly special to you because Jesus Del Moral is your husband. How does that work? <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> yes, uh, this was very important for me because uh, uh, my history is uh, uh, many years I try and try and try to enter in the national team, but it was very difficult for me. And you, you, uh, <sighs> You don't believe in yourself, but then Jesus uh, tell me, okay, believe in you. This is easy, okay, believe in you, but how? <laughs> because I believe in you, and I feel that he believes that I want to be uh, first uh, Spanish championship, after European championship, and after I speak with him, I say, you believe that I can be world championship? And he look look at me and say, "Of course, you will be <laughs> a champion." Well, and then can I ask? You, yeah, sorry. <laughs> can, can I ask you though? Having a good relationship with your coach is especially important, of course. But can you both think about this and give me an answer? What is that best piece of advice, that nugget of gold that you've ever had from your coach that's helped you become world champions? Uh, uh, me, uh, yes. Oh, Antonio, Antonio, sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I will say, I will say, I, I, I have a phrase from my, from my sensei uh, that resonates with everything in my life. You know, is that um, uh, he used to say, "Smile and relax." So I think it's a, it's a principle of life. You know, to enjoy things, to uh, not uh, be driven. You know, by the, by the only the pressure of you have to do this. You know, because people is expecting you to win and everything, but uh, to enjoy it. And and if you enjoy it, you can smile and you can be relaxed, and 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 it's gonna be um, a totally different perspective and and in what you do, and and the intention is totally different. And Sandra, yes, uh, well, I remember in a way say all time smile, and smile have a. A lot of meaning inside the the world is uh, enjoy is uh, karate is more than only uh, training and training but no passion. This is a smile. This is enjoy. Jesus tell me uh, uh, believe in you because I I, I believe and, and this way was uh, very hard but will enjoy this part. <laughs> Well, uh, you both have beautiful smiles, and, and I have never seen either of you uh, look stressed. That's why I'm, I'm amazed at, at how fantastic you are both on the tatami. Uh, and you, you very, but once you get on that tatami, you seem to change. You become something different. <laughs> and the uh, focus and the uh, concentration is really quite remarkable. And you can see, uh, as a judge, as a, uh, a spectator, you can see the complete con concentration that you that you have. That you're living the kata all the way through. Now, can I ask about bunkai? Because in team kata, a realistic bunkai is obviously a really important part of it. But how, uh, as an individual, how do you develop kata as an individual in relation to the bunkai? Antonio. 
Uh, I think I think it's important. It, 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 nowadays, kata competitions, you know, uh, many young kids want to learn the kata, want to learn the forms, and, and they have access to all of these videos, all social media, you know, to do the form, and, and then maybe they can imitate the form and, the, and you know, in the directions. But um, it, it, I, I, I truly believe that um, for, for having a, 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 you know, to, tra to, to transmit that feeling, uh, you need to know the why of the movements. Uh, why are you doing the movement? So uh, uh, it's important to, to at least have a, a knowledge of uh, what you're doing with all this, this movement. So even though sometimes we, we, we have, uh, uh, the, the time is more focused on, you know, practicing the performance alone. I think always it's good to go back to the basics and, and you know, uh, at least try to feel how the movement will feel in the application, even if it's not exactly the same, but, but uh, you know, to have this feeling, yes. I think, can help a lot for your performance. I see. And Sandra, you share that view or you have a different view? Yeah, no, no same. We work a lot with the partner, now with this time, <laughs> to matter, <laughs> but we were with, with, yeah. with fun, trying to develop and understand and deepen uh, the technical application of, of kata. Uh, in this way, uh, we try to look for the purpose and meaning uh, of kata. Uh, kata contain all keys, uh, defense and offense strategies. If you understand everything everything when you are in the tatami your face change because you really feel that this is a real fight thank you thank you both for that uh, comprehensive explanation now, we are seeing team italy perform here and part of that team is viviana botaro what Viviana was in the team in 2010, as we see here, and she was fantastic then. But she's changed her kata and developed it to the point now she is one of the top competitors in the world currently and looking, obviously, forward to competing into the Olympics. So can I ask you your opinion of how, how has uh, kata performance evolved over the 10 years since 2010? to what it is now. I mean, we have uh, Antonio, double world champion during that period, and the current world champion, Sandra. How do you feel that, that has changed? Is it, is it evolved in a, in a different way, or has it been the same all the way through? If I can ask you first of all, Antonio, uh, your experience, please. Uh, I think I, I would say the, um, uh, what what we are living today, the, the, the way kata is being performed today, um, my feeling is, is uh, something that starts around this, this period of time. You know, in 2010, we start seeing um, uh, more preoccupation and, 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 and uh, athletes um, trying to go more for the technical aspect and trying to, to um, go to some of these things we were explaining before about the bunkai, the meaning, um, and, and that start changing a little bit the 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 way uh of performing kata of course the the i think um uh, in in every region or or country you, you you can see there are different approach to kata no and usually europe always was a little bit more physical more athletic but then i think uh uh also uh many countries that were very focused on the athletic part start going for the technical aspect and and that start making a change um, so also today you know when the, the in that year start the the next in the 2011 start the premier league so i think that also uh yes give more um you know the the, the uh, competitors were uh doing more competitions you know and and mm -hmm. and that exchange also helped and and nowadays you know Japan is also participating with a lot of competitors and and um, I think it's, it's many factors, you know, but but uh, I would say uh, 2010, I would put it like a, a starting point for what we live in now. Okay, uh, and, and where we are now is with the current world champion, 
Sandra Sanchez, uh, as uh, the team are coming to the end of their performance. Uh, now it's been uh, 10 years since this was performed in Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, and a brilliant performance by the Italian team. Uh, and Sandra, your conclusion of, do you have, did you have a preference? What did you think was going to be blue, red? Your analysis, you can just summarize. <laughs> I know the result. <laughs> <laughs> I think, <laughs> sure. but uh, yeah. if I was referee, I might be blue. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. And that's in fact what uh, the referees have done. They've all gone blue in favour of Italy. Uh, it was a great performance. Uh, the Bunka in particular. It was a very polished performance from the team from Italy, and they're still together. Pasetti, Battaglia and Votaro, uh, still a very strong team and they'll be looking to the World Championships, no doubt. So we've come to the end of the programme. Thank you so much, both of you. Sandra Sanchez, current World Champion. Antonio Diaz, twice World Champion. And thank you everybody for watching. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>